Hey, today a short video on the three reasons he is pulling away or wants out. Very simple. There are three. When you get these three and you deal with them systematically, you can turn your relationship around on a dime. Not simple, but easy. You have to get it first. That's why you're here. I want to get right to it. Who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. Through all my years in coaching women and getting to the heart of the matter for each one, and making the change happen and getting the commitment that the woman desires and deserves, it is these three things that are a game changer and will help you no matter his state of retreat, pull back, even if he is gone. I'm going to outline them very simply and then a quick what you can do because what you do is really the key not just taking information here but actually getting to transformation first and foremost i would say without any exceptions really that it is the woman's self-concept in the relationship that is hurting her the most when i say in the relationship it is because a self-concept in terms of a love relationship is very, very different than it is in other areas of life. In other words, a woman can know she is, uh, she's gorgeous, she's smart, she can be achieved in life, uh, a great education, a great vocation, a great advocation, a great life, good relationships in every other way and very high self-value and self-concept. But it, when it comes to a love relationship, that is where things are very different and really don't fall in line with other areas of her life. Is that you? Do you have a great life, a great career, everything in line? People think uh, you've got it all together and all going on, but your love relationships are not where certainly you want them to be, have failed. You can see a pattern whereby you are not getting really what you desire and what you deserve. It almost always boils down to the self-concept in love. And I'm not going to spend the time on it in this video today because I want to give you these three things. But you have got to get to that work to change your subconscious programming, which happened to you from the time you were born till age seven. If you cannot do that with hypnotherapy, then you need to be doing it through subconscious work that you can do by doing sleep affirmations, becoming very conscious of your mental diet, so a lot more on this. I will link some people, I think, if you start watching them uh, here on YouTube, then you will uh, get that uh, to a greater degree. So that's one. Second is having urgency about your relationship. This also comes from the earliest programming, but it is played out. Uh, whereby you need to know, you need to have that man with you, you need to be on top of things all the time, and there is an urgency about your way of relating, about just the feeling around you. Uh, there's not an ease. He feels pressured. And again, this harkens back to self-concept most generally speaking. Again, no matter how much I'm going on, how beautiful on the outside, how much you're projecting to the world that you've got it all going on. I mean, really dig deep. Do I think that this man has it all going on, but that I don't in the love relationship? Okay. So it is uh, played out through an urgency that he feels. It's an energy. It's, um, it could be real in that you want to know where the relationship is going because you have a timeline maybe about having children. But urgency is a, a, a very, very big component in this. And 
The third is that you are focusing on him rather than on you. Every thought, action, you are focusing on him, what he may be doing or not doing. It, 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 it's really, if you dig deep in this and you start to see what your mental diet is about, you will notice that the focus is on him. And if you have a hard time bringing it back to yourself, that harkens back to self-concept. You see how it all blends together, but they are these three things that really take the man down a road of, mm, I'm pulling away, I may be getting out, or he is out. If you need more help with this, you know you can connect with me. You can connect with me here. Start by listening to the podcast. It's called Make Him Wonder. It's on every platform. And now I also have it in a subscription model. There are over 120 episodes for you to listen to. They are real life love and relationship coaching conversations that I have with real women who are talking to me about a problem and we go through the coaching of it. From A to Z, we cover it all. So take a listen there. Also, watch and repeat the videos here. You need to start doing the work to get to the real joy and everything that you desire to deserve. You can do it, but you must put in the time, effort, and work. And if you need to speak to me about it, again, free to everyone who comes on the podcast, or we can do a consult, but let's get to work and let's fix this for you this year because you can, you're here, You've got the first step, you're here. Let's take it to the next step, which is actually taking action. To get information and then take it to transformation. So I look forward to doing more and to talking to you. So stay here, stay tuned, hit that subscribe uh, button and also the red alert bell and I will talk to you next time. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the 